Right, morning, welcome back to the Average Golfers channel. We're down here at Wallasey Golf Club. It's a little bit windy, but what I'm going to look at this morning is what I consider to be five of the best products that were released in 2021. They don't particularly come from any brand, they're not from any particular genre, just what I consider to be five innovative products that I think would do well in the bag of many average golfers. Now, as ever with these videos, I like your input more than mine, to be honest with you, and my five products of 2021 probably be a bit different than yours. So what I want to know is, what product have you come across this year that has been particularly impressive and helped improve your game? So comments down below, help your fellow golfers and point them in the right direction. Right, so let's start with number five. And uh, this is very much, well, it's a dual product. It's not just one, it's a ball and putter combined. It is, of course, from Callaway. It's their triple track system. Now, we've seen the ball introduced, I think that was last year. So, basic principle, three stripes on a golf ball help you to align to the hole. Dead simple. But then they went one step further and they brought the putter out. It's the two ball putter with that triple track pattern. And for me, again, looking at products, innovation for average golfers, if you're struggling with your putting in particular, obviously alignment, then this system is fantastic. You've got the two ball, which is already really good for aligning your putts. Then you stick it in amongst the uh, align your third being the actual ball itself. And uh, let me just have a little bit of a roll at this one. Just stay over to that left hand side. Then you align the other ball, the ball itself, and it's incredible then how easy it is to get that ball lined up. And if you're better than me at choosing the right line, then you've got no excuses whatsoever about why you would miss a putt. So for me, the ball already existed. The idea of moving that one step for, further and the triple track putter was a great bit of innovation from Callaway. And that starts us off at number five. Ah, it's just drifting to the left. Wind's got it, get up, get up. Ah, made the green, drifted a little bit to the left. It's a tough old morning here at Wallasey Golf Club. But in at number four is an iron. And what's the logic why this iron has made it into the top four? It's from PXG and it's their new version of the 0211. Now, I was a big fan of the first version. What did they do different this time round? Well, they just made it a little bit more refined in terms of its looks. Plays really, really well. It's a great golf club or great iron for most average golfers. It's just really, really forgiving. It's very playable, it launches the ball, does all those kind of things. But the reason it's in at number four and why I consider it to be one of the better products of 2021 is the price point. And again, I've said this in numerous videos in recent months, it's not something you'd expect to have been speaking about PXG being in on price point as a positive. But these things are £80 a club in UK pounds. And to me, that's a massive, massive change and shift, obviously, for PXG. But in terms of for the consumer, it's a real great product in at a really good price. And you're not sacrificing stuff. This is a quality built product. And for me, like I said, in 2021, it stands out as a set of irons and a product that really deserves its place in my top five. Get up and sit. Oh, I'd take that one any day of the week. This interesting product for me in a number three in my list and uh, it's a wedge and it's from Mizuno and it's their ES21. I was massively surprised and impressed by what this wedge did when it first came out and I've still throughout this whole season carried and kept on reverting to these as being the wedges of choice for me. And the thing again why I think it's one of the best products of this year is because it's very much built like what I would consider to be a game improvement wedge. It's fairly chunky and when you look at it from the back side, I'm not a great lover of it to be honest with you in terms of its looks. It's all about mass, it's got a real thick top line in essence, but when you sit the thing in a dress, that top line, that bulkiness, that mass that you see all disappears and what you're looking at is very much a traditional type of wedge. Now, lots of people have attempted to do that, but no one has done it, in my opinion, as good as what Mizuno have done in this ES21 wedge. That, coupled with the fact it's got incredible feel, there's loads of versatility 
versatility in terms of the, um, the bounce options, the width of sole options. It's just a real, real good product. And for me, again, a no-brainer for most average golfers. If you want that kind of option in the bag, a little bit of uh, comfort, if you like, a, I would call it a game improvement wedge in a player's profile, then this Mizuno ES21 is right at the top of the pile. And like I said, a real good product and introduction for 2021. Go ball. Go ball. Is it going to get there? Ah, oh, it's coming a little bit short, playing into what is a really strong headwind. But anyway, enough of my performance with it. What is number two in terms of my uh, best products for 2021? When it comes from Callaway, it's obviously an iron, and it is the DCB iron, the Apex DCB, that is. Why is it at number two? Well, for me, what they did this year, the Apex range has always been a fantastic range of irons. But they included this DCB, which was what I would call a game improvement iron packed into a very, very small profile, and then it's forged. Now, to put all those things together, I don't think it really existed in another product out there right now. I think it was a really good package that they put together, particularly, like I said, in that small, more compact profile was the big deal for me. So you could arguably put together a set of Apex from even... If you really fancied yourself in sort of a wedge in an MB, you then go to whatever. There's four or five different types of models that you could blend in, but putting sort of six iron, five iron, four iron into these DCBs was that was a massive tick. But then, like I said, if you just fancied that sort of pitching wedge through to the uh, four iron, full set of irons rather in the DCB, then that also was a massive box tick to be able to play these kind of irons. Plenty of help plenty of great feel and forgiveness into a compact profile and forged head. So to me, a real thing that we've not seen before from any other manufacturer. And that's why it would sit in at number two for me in the best products of 2021. Oh, that's a good effort. It's hanging a little bit, it's getting there. Oh, we should make full left of the green. And my number one product for 2021 in terms of innovation and it could have come from a number of different companies to be honest with you because it's it's innovation but it's also the idea of it's become a product that has become more acceptable and it's a seven wood the version i have in my hand is a g425 from ping and to me that is right up there with possibly the best version of the seven woods that you can buy right now why do I think it's so good? Well, like I said, it's become more readily available. More of the brands are offered it as an option, but it's just a much more, like I said, I think the fact that it appeared in Dustin Johnson's bag uh, in recent uh, years made it a little bit more acceptable. And what Ping have done and others have made them a really good performing club for average golfers. And as I've said, this list is all about new products that have come along that have made the game a little bit easier, I think, for average golfers and for me the idea of putting a seven wood in your bag is an absolute no-brainer so easy to play so versatile we're playing into a par five here it pops the ball up so easy comes down with a great descent angle stops on greens you can play it from the tee on long par threes you can chip with it around the greens it's just such an all-round versatile club but the fact that ping g425 have made such a good looking version of that club, a good performing club, and that's why it sits right at the top of the tree for me and would be my best product of 2021. Right, go back to the beginning of the video. That's my top five. What I ask you is, what is your top five? Or if it's not your top five, what is the best product of 2021 that perhaps you have put in your bag? Comments down below. Right, as ever, thanks for watching. Hit that thumbs up button, comments down below, and I'll see you all very, very soon. We're going to carry on in what is a really nice sunny day at Wallasey, but a tad breezy.